Have you ever considered how secure your password really is? Just pause for a moment and think about it. In the interconnected world we live in, the importance of password security can't be overstated. Your passwords are the gatekeepers of your digital life, safeguarding your personal and professional information from prying eyes. But what happens when these passwords are weak or easily guessable? The consequences can be dire, with threats ranging from identity theft to financial loss and even compromised data. Imagine your social media account being taken over, or worse, your bank account being drained. These are not just hypothetical scenarios, but very real risks in today's digital landscape. In the face of these potential threats, strong password security becomes not just a good practice, but a crucial line of defense. It's about protecting your digital identity, your assets, and your privacy. So remember, in the digital age, password security is not an option, it's a necessity. To understand the importance of password security, one must understand how password cracking works. Password cracking, in its simplest form, is an attempt to guess a password. This is not a matter of some dark cloak and dagger intrigue, but a process that can be as simple or as complex as the password itself. It's all about a relentless pursuit to figure out the key to unlock a digital door. Think of it as a game of hide-and-seek, where the password is hiding and the cracker is seeking. The game becomes more challenging when the password is complex and easier when it is simple. But remember, this is not a child's game. The stakes can be high, involving sensitive, personal, or financial information. There are several methods to crack a password. Let's briefly touch upon a couple of the most common ones. First up, we have the brute force attacks. As the name suggests, this method involves trying all possible combinations of characters until the correct password is found. Imagine trying every single key on a keychain until you find the right one. It's laborious, yes, but given enough time and computing power, it's effective. Then we have dictionary attacks. These are a bit more sophisticated. Instead of trying all possible combinations, dictionary attacks use common words or phrases, including those found in dictionaries. It's like having a cheat sheet of the most likely keys. This method preys on the human tendency to use easily remembered words as passwords. Password cracking isn't just a rogue activity, it's a technique used by cyber criminals, yes, but it's also used by cybersecurity professionals to test the strength of a system's security. It helps them identify weak points and strengthen defenses. In the hands of the good guys, password cracking is a tool to protect and secure. So the next time you create a password, remember the game of hide and seek. Make sure your password is well hidden, complex, and not easily guessed. Because in this digital age, the seekers are always out there waiting for an easy find. Password cracking isn't just a tool for the bad guys, it's also a measure of defense. Now dive into the step-by-step -step process of password cracking. But remember, we're journeying into this world not to become cyber villains, but to arm ourselves with knowledge that can help to fortify our own cyber defenses. Let's start with the first step. Selecting a target. This could be anything from a personal email account, a social media profile, or a company's database. Once a target is chosen, the next step is to gather as much information about it as possible. This could involve anything from social engineering to advanced network analysis. Now, let's move on to the actual cracking. There are several methods to crack a password, each with its own pros and cons. The first method is brute force. This involves trying every possible combination of characters until the correct password is found. It's like trying every possible key on a massive keyring until you find the one that fits the lock. However, this method can be time-consuming and computationally demanding. The second method is a dictionary attack. Here, a list of commonly used passwords, or dictionary, is used to guess the password. It's faster than brute force, but it relies on the hope that the target has used a weak or common password. Finally, there's the rainbow table attack. This method uses pre-computed tables of hashed values to reverse engineer the password. It's like having a cheat sheet of answers to a test, allowing you to skip the hard work of working out each question. But it requires significant storage space and is less effective against systems that use salting, a technique that adds extra data to passwords before they're hashed. 
As you can see, password cracking can be a complex process, but understanding it can help you create stronger, more secure passwords. And remember, the best defense is always a good offense. So let's turn this knowledge into power and protect ourselves in this digital age. So what are the key takeaways from this discussion on password security and cracking? First and foremost, we've learned about the critical importance of password security. In the vast digital landscape we navigate daily, a secure password is akin to a sturdy lock on your front door. It serves as your first line of defense against unauthorized access to your personal data, financial information, and other sensitive details. Next, we've delved into the concept of password cracking. This is the process where cyber experts, both ethical and otherwise, use specialized techniques to decode or guess passwords. It's crucial to understand that password cracking isn't inherently malicious. In fact, penetration testers or pen testers use these techniques to identify vulnerabilities and bolster security systems. We've also examined the intricate process of password cracking. It's not a simple one-click operation. Rather, it involves a complex series of steps, from reconnaissance and scanning to gaining access and maintaining persistence. Each phase requires a unique set of skills and tools. Throughout the discussion, we've highlighted several cracking methods. These range from the straightforward brute force approach, which systematically checks all possible combinations, to more nuanced tactics like dictionary attacks, where commonly used passwords are tested, or rainbow table attacks, which take advantage of pre-computed hashes. Understanding these methods allows us to develop more robust defenses against them. Finally, we've emphasized the need for proactive steps towards enhancing your password security. This could involve creating complex, unique passwords, using a reliable password manager, or enabling two-factor authentication. It's not enough to be aware of the threats. Taking action is key. In conclusion, the realm of password security and cracking is vast and multifaceted. It's a space where knowledge truly is power. The more you understand about how passwords are cracked, the better equipped you'll be to protect your own. Remember, understanding how password cracking works isn't about becoming a hacker. It's about becoming a more informed, secure, and responsible digital citizen.